Welcome to the new section about measurement in LTSpice. It is a helpful function in LTSpice to calculate some measurements based on simulation results. In this lecture, I will briefly introduce the measurement function in LTSpice. In the following lectures, I will show you how to use Python to import the measurement from log file. Measure is a built-in function in LTSpice to evaluate user-defined electrical quantities over different types of simulation results. Measure is helpful to post-process the simulation results. MEAS is the abbreviation of measure. .MEAS is the command used to access the measurements made possible by all simulation calculations, including AC analysis, DC sweep, DC operating point, transient simulation, DC transfer function, and the noise. The result is saved in the file of spice error log file. The file extension is log. You can retrieve the log file by the shortcut key Control and L. The spice syntax is as follows. Note that the plus sign in spice syntax is a continuation sign at the beginning of the next line. The syntax starts with dot .meas followed by the simulation type declarations and also followed by the name of variable. The second line gives pre-processing at the expression which is a measurement. The third line is a condition or instant at the measurement. The last line is a time delay and any condition about the selected measurements. Please go to the listed reference for detailed information. Now let's go to LTSpice to run a simulation in measurements. Let's go to the folder for this lecture. Let's open the schematic in LTSpice. Here is the first order low pass filter that we have studied in previous lectures. All parameters are the same. R1 remains at 1 kilo ohm. C1 remains at 0 0.1 microfarad. Simulation time is the same as 0 to 5 milliseconds. Input voltage frequency is at 1 kilohertz. We turn off the raw data compression so we save 100% of data into raw data. Also, we only save V in and V out to limit the quantity of the saved data. In addition, we add some trending measurement over V out. You can move your mouse at measurement syntax and right click on your mouse to see the detailed meaning of each syntax. Here, I will briefly go over each syntax. For the first line, right click over your mouse. Here is a measurement statement editor. It says .meas statement allow you to script measurement of a waveform data. In this case, we use trending analysis. The result name as the measurement name is vout underline avg. The genre is average. The measurement quantity is vout, so we measure at vout. And the triggered condition is from 0 milliseconds to 3 milliseconds. Basically, we measure the average voltage of vout between 0 seconds to 3 milliseconds. The syntax is automatically generated, as shown here. You can test it if you have raw data generated. You can simply hit OK. Here is the second line. We measure the maximum voltage between 0 seconds to 3 milliseconds over Vout. We call it Vout underline max. So this is syntax for this measurement. The third line is to measure the minimum voltage at V out. The genera is minimum. This is syntax for this line. The first one is to find V out when the time is 3 milliseconds. The fifth one 
is to measure the derivative of v out when the time is at 2 milliseconds. Sometimes I found the measurement syntax editor is difficult to use because it has a bug in the display. In this case, for example, the syntax is correct. We measure the derivative of v out at 2 milliseconds, but the display is incorrect. When you meet a problem, please just click cancel button so that you can directly work on the syntax. You can change the syntax as whatever you want if you fully understand the meaning of the syntax. A byte measurement is added just for experimental purposes. We measure the voltage at V out 2 and the result name is V out 2 X. We know that V out 2 is not available in the simulation, so it's going to generate a incorrect measurement so that it will generate a bad measurement. Now I believe you have a basic understanding about the measurement. We can run the simulation. We move the mouse over V in and V out to check the waveform in time domain. This is the same as before. Now let's go to schematic, choose view, space error log. Here is a window for log file. Here is a measurement result. V out average is this number from 0 to 3 milliseconds. V out maxima is found as 4.31 volt during this period of time. And the V out minima is also found as minus 4.23. The V out at the time equals to 3 milliseconds is found as this number. The last one is derivative on V out when time equals to 2 milliseconds. As we expected, there is a bad measurement, says V out 2 X failed. That's all for measurement in LT Spice. In the next lecture, I will show you a quick demo about how to use Python to read the measurement from log files into Python IDE. This is the reference for this lecture. Thank you and see you next time.